Instagram, Twitter, TikTok. How well does the Z Flip 5 perform on these platforms? That's what we're talking about in this video. Good day, you beautiful people. Welcome to Isa Does Tech, where we do tech in your life in style. The Z Flip 5. I'm really excited to do this video with a clamshell foldy because one, I'm completely sold on this form factor. And secondly, I really feel like that form factor really, really adds to the experience of shooting with this device. And in this video, we're going to be testing this phone out to see just how it performs on social media. So we're looking at Instagram, TikTok, Twitter. We're going to try out selfies. We're going to try out walking and talking, things that you would normally do on social media and see how the Z Flip 5 performs. Right? Let's get to it. So for the first part of this video, we're going to be shooting with the Z Flip 5 and we're going to be looking at what stories look via an iPhone and an Android phone. Now the thing with the Z Flip 5 is that you can shoot many different ways. First off with the internal selfie camera and then of course, we can shoot with a cover screen. Ooh, <laughs> shooting with the IG app via the Samsung Z Flip 5. Now that we have that covered, let's see how the stories look via different phones. So I have the Oppo Reno 10 Pro Plus and I have the iPhone 13 Plus. Let's see. Samsung Z Flip 5. Now iPhone time, let's see. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Shooting with the IG app via the Samsung Z Flip 5. Now what's pretty interesting and what I've been wanting to see is if this Z Flip 5, just like the Moto Razr Plus, can shoot in-app Instagram stories via the cover screen. And you can, it's just not as simple as one would think. Now, I'm busting out another Z Flip 5 because let me show you something. The cover screen on the Z Flip 5, if you don't really add anything to it, when you set it up, after you get it, will look like this. And it will allow you to have apps on the cover screen, except as you can see, that's not a whole lot of apps. That's not all the apps. Unlike the Moto Razr, which presents you with the option to use the cover screen directly as you would use like the inner fold screen, the Samsung Z Flip 5 doesn't give you that option. Well, not immediately. On this other flip, I have set it up and it entails having to install another Samsung created toolkit that can only be found in the Samsung Galaxy Store. But then it'll allow you to get more and any apps that you'd like on the cover screen, which means I can now watch YouTube on my cover screen. But most important for our purposes, you can now shoot with a cover screen. Let's see how that looks. That button's a little weird, but I'll take what I can get. Let's do hands-free. Shooting on the Z Flip 5 cover screen. This is in-app IG. Shooting on the Z Flip 5 cover screen. This is in-app IG. Now this part might be a little bit of interesting now i have a qwerty keyboard on this cover screen for um writing text on my story let's see i can't really see what i'm typing though oh okay see see that's a problem look at what i typed wait okay i'm 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 gonna let it be but you get you get my issue here <laughs> And now you can actually watch your story through the cover screen. Shooting on the Z Flip 5 cover screen. This is in app IG. So yeah, it is really cool that you can shoot Instagram stories with your cover screen. However, I will note that 
again you had to install a separate toolkit the good luck toolkit and it's not as simple as one would think i mean i cover tech but even i had to figure out how to do it and it wasn't the most straightforward process i will link the instructions down below for any one of you who'd like to do the same thing to your Z Flip 5. That being said though, once you get through that initial setup, you're all good. No need to tweak things around. I will say though that the Instagram interface, that needs a little help. I did notice that the quality when shooting with a cover screen via Good Luck, as you can see here. On the Z Flip 5 cover screen, this is in app IG. It's not the best quality. Let me show you the same clip on the iPhone. Do you see how there's sort of that like, it's not the clearest. But yes, hoping that this gets optimized soon enough. Despite that whole journey to install this toolkit though, I'm still pretty sold. I mean, it's not every day that you will have this form factor for Instagram stories. It's pretty cool. It's such a great thing to use for when you're out and about, wanting to shoot yourself or when you're traveling. And speaking of traveling, before we move on to the next part, a quick word from this video sponsor. And friends, I actually really enjoyed using this device. We're talking about these. This is a Soundcore Space One. And if you haven't heard of Soundcore, well, they're Anchor's audio arm. Now what I'm gonna be showing you are headphones that I'm personally gonna be traveling with in the upcoming weeks. Again, these are the Soundcore Space One headphones. And first of all, these are cute pumps in this powder blue. Or for those of you who like more basic looks, this also comes in a cute latte cream colorway. And for the even more basic, there's a black version. Anyway, aside from looking so good, which is important because I'm gonna be wearing these on my head, these are cushioned and adjustable, so these feel comfy. Most importantly though, these have high-risk audio and it even supports LBAP. And you also get that perfect seal on your ears. With noise cancellation on, you really can't hear anything. What? Especially useful when you're in a noisy place. Like for example, on a commute or a coffee shop or on an airplane, which is perfect because again, I'm taking these on my trip. Then there are also other features I love like the transparency mode, which means you'll hear stuff around you even with the headphones on or the easy chat mode, which will allow you to hear people when they talk to you. You don't have to take off the headphones. Then there's also wearing detection and dual Bluetooth. Perfect for people like me because I switch out phones a lot. Plus, if you're the type of girly who likes being tethered, you can also plug in using a cord that it comes with. And it's also cute and blue. All in all, what I'd look for in headphones that I'ma travel with, sound quality, ANC, versatility, and even good looks. All info I have on the Soundcore Space One, I'll leave in the description. Let's get back to the video. Okay, next up, let's see how filters look when shot with a Z Flip 5 on different social media apps. Right now, we're looking at how well the filters look. Whoa, there. <laughs> how well they look with the Samsung Z Flip 5. Hmm. I like these eyelashes. Up next, and I've also switched out the mics, is TikTok because I figured we're not gonna be shooting the audio from the phone anymore. Let's get to videos. 15 seconds. First of all, look at that filter. I, my skin is so smooth. This is not how I look in real life, obviously. Let's see what cute effects we can try. I'm gonna turn off the music because we're gonna get copyrighted. But as you can see, you guys, those are not my actual eyelashes. There, that, that shows you. It looks good. I mean, again, let's turn down the beautify mode. I feel like it's a little bit too much at this point. See, let's see. A lot of filters, but you get the idea. Anyway, look at the lashes, right? Let's see how it looks. Ooh. I actually like these lashes on me. Now this is pretty interesting because there are a lot of like filters. Let's see how this looks. Even if I cover my eyes, it's still like... Oh wait, there, I lost it. It's not bad. I have these actual shades in real life, which is why it's funny to me. Hmm. 
Finally, we have Snapchat, which is home to my favorite filter of all time, the one filter that got me into filters, the doggy filter. Let's go find that. Whoa, there are a lot of different filters on here now. I got a little excited with that intro because I did use to Snapchat chat, Snapchat a whole lot. Mm. Look at that. Where's that doggy filter? Oof. We even have filters like this now. Wow. What I really want is that doggy filter. Let me find it. This. Wait, no, not that one. This. My favorite filter of all time is back. And you guys, if you know what this filter is all about, you're, you're old, like me. <laughs> and this is what a filter looks like when shot on Snapchat. cute so to recap this phone wait the phone's rear cameras can do wide 1x up until 10x on video it can do wide 1x up until 10x as well let's see how the zooms will be on social media first up we have instagram let's see this is the view and can we zoom into up until this far there is no number there is can you see me there is no number on here so i'm not entirely sure just how zoomed in this is and it's it's pretty responsive when it comes to the zooming in or out and smooth on snapchat this time around let's see how do i flip it there we go. Oh, you get the actual like zoom in level. So let's try 0.5x up. Wait, let me do that again. 0.5x up until I'm not sure what this is. Zooming in or out, it's pretty smooth as well. Hmm. Finally, we're on TikTok. Let's go. Well, wait. I think it's zooming in at the same point. I do feel like a slight drag on TikTok. It's still pretty small. Now, usually I'll test out portrait modes and how that will look shot by the app. But based on previous social media tests, there's only really ever one app that allows for that. And that's Snapchat because on Snapchat, you get a low light mode, a focus mode, which is basically what I'm talking about. You can do portrait mode on this app. On Instagram and TikTok, you don't get those functionalities and any blurred out background filter you have is really just that, a filter. So let's show you what a focus mode looks like and this friends is what focus mode looks like on snapchat as you can see my background so messy as it is is now blurred and this is a feature on snapchat so the next part of this video is gonna be on ois the z flip 5 should have improved ois and it also has a super steady mode let's check out how that looks shot on the actual camera app and on the different apps we're testing out walking and talking on the z flip 5 this is the front facing camera and this is my mess but also this is walking and talking on the steady mode with the cameras of the z flip 5. we're shooting on the snapchat app this time i'm just walking the same direction so you sort of have control same mess that i have snapchat app this time we're ending at the mirror <laughs> i walking and talking this is the instagram app this time that i'm shooting with this is what walking and talking looks like via the Instagram app. Hello again. And finally, we're on TikTok. This is what that looks like walking and talking. And back where we came. 
finally. Please don't judge the mess that is my life right now. On a normal day, I would actually like go out and shoot this whole social media test so that we have a change of scenery. But I'm not kidding when I said that I'm headed out for a trip. I'm flying out tomorrow, so excuse the mess. And now let's move on to low light. As you can see, you guys, I am in a dark room and the only light source is that nano leaf panel so it's not necessarily the brightest place let's take a sample wide and let's zoom in like two times now there is a night mode on here but that's designed for like even darker scenarios let's turn off the lights and like it's pitch black but we're gonna take some night mode samples this is the night mode <laughs> and that is how good night mode processing is on this phone let's see if that's something that can be replicated when shot via the social media app instagram first of course I mean, are we surprised? Snapchat, you can't really just take photos, so... However, Snapchat does give you the option for a low light mode. And once that's turned on, it does say photos only. Let's see how that look. Oh my gosh, that's pretty cool. That is very impressive. And then on TikTok, there is a flash, but no low light mode. Let's see. Yeah, I finally turned the lights back on. At the end of the day, it really is Snapchat because of its low light mode that won the low light challenge here. And that was our Galaxy Z Flip 5 social media test. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if there are things that you'd want me to add to these social media tests. Let me know if you think that the Z Flip 5 performed. I still have a couple of untested devices lined up, including the Z Fold 5. So comment down below if you want a social media test on that or which phone I should do a social media test next on. That's it for today's video. If you want to see how I use my tech on a daily basis, find me online. That's Isa does underscore on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. Until next time!